The Legacy came out in 1978, and this is a supernatural horror movie starring Sam Elliott and Catherine Ross. Sam Elliott, of course, is the guy who fought alongside Dalton in the Roadhouse, and he's also the guy who killed Hitler and then the Bigfoot. Um, <laughs> uh, Catherine Ross, she was in The Stepford Wives, and this was directed by Richard Marquand, Quand, whatever, uh, he went on to direct some, some little movie called Return of the Jedi. Maybe you've heard of it. Um, I've never seen it. but And this movie has a 24% on Rotten Tomatoes and is from the writer of the original Mummy and some other Dracula, Vampire, uh, and Frankenstein movies, some old school movies. Now what this movie is about is a couple attempts to unravel a sinister plot within the English countryside estate of a dying man who has gathered an eclectic and notable group of house guests. This was a first time watch and a patron request of course by Phil Smith so thank you for recommending this. I had never heard of it before and it is streaming right now on YouTube for free. And I do believe it had a Blu-ray release at some point. Maybe it's out of print right now. I don't know. So, uh, let's get into it. What do I like about this movie? I like Catherine Ross and Sam Elliott. I thought the performances overall were pretty good, especially by them. I thought they were terrific, and they made a terrific couple. I like the way they're set up, their chemistry, their romance. Like They're just a genuine, lovable couple. And I like that they try everything they can to escape. When things start to feel wrong and smell fishy, they just are like, all right, we're leaving first thing in the morning. Uh, and when they try, they just keep coming back to the house. They have like this, you know, it's a supernatural movie, so like anything can happen. Like they keep trying to escape, but what happens is, it's kind of like in the mouth of madness. They just kind of keep going in loops. They just keep coming back no matter how far they drive. They always end up right back at the mansion. So I like that they threw that in here. It's kind of creepy and it shows that they have to stay there. There's nothing that they can do to leave. And I thought the kills in the movie were fine. They're not really gory or anything, but because it's a supernatural movie, the kills have a supernatural element to each of them. Like crazy shit just kind of happens out of nowhere and you're like oh shit it's kind of unexpected how some of these people die like uh you know one involving a mirror i thought that one was pretty cool um and then like one in the pool i thought that one was terrifying like that is a terrifying situation and i thought the score of the movie was nice and suspenseful pretty effective it's the same composer who did unseen by director Danny Steinman in The Medusa Tush from the same year, I believe, and Theater of Blood, a Vincent Price film from 1973 that I highly recommend. And so, yeah, and I thought this movie, you know, it was well made, well shot, well produced. It's a pretty good transfer, what I saw on YouTube, so it must be the, the Blu-ray transfer that I watched on YouTube. It looked pretty good. So it's a well-made movie, but what I don't like about it is really just the story. I'm not really into this kind of story. This supernatural, uh, like, human sacrifice movie, because these people are here just getting picked off one by one as, like, sacrifices and, like, what's revealed at the very end. I just was, like, whatever about. Like, I didn't really care for how the movie wrapped up at the end. I was like, okay. Um... I just, I wasn't really into the story. There wasn't much, like, intrigue or real mystery. Nothing that surprised me at the end. I was really into the characters, but I just didn't care what was going on around them all that much. Um, especially with, like, these cats. There's, like, this weird element with the cats being the nurses. So that's never really explained why or how the nurses or the, the maids or whoever these people are, I forget, it's been couple days and 12 movies since um there's like cats that are also the nurses and i just thought that was a weird unnecessary part of the story i didn't, I didn't care for that and i thought the movie was a tad boring at times especially in the first like 30 minutes i just thought it was a tad boring not super boring but just a little bit and i thought there was a couple moments of 
effects that just kind of aged the movie. One during like a fire scene. I didn't like the way they shot that scene. Uh, and I didn't really care for the makeup on the one dude's face. Uh, the ill guy, like he has like this weird deformity and the makeup just looks like makeup. And it was just a weird corny look. So final thoughts, this is a lesser known supernatural horror movie with great protagonists and some interesting death scenes. But it's just a story that doesn't really grab me and keep me fully engaged and guessing what's going to happen next. If you love Sam Elliott, it's definitely... Uh, worth a watch especially if you want to see his bare naked ass so when it comes to the legacy i'll give this three out of five stars all right time for a very quick spoiler discussion um th was the cat supposed to wink at the camera because it looks like it did there's a moment where the cat looks at the camera and i swear to god it winked <laughs> that was just really corny um it was like breaking the fourth wall and the cat is the nurse uh how or why i don't know um anyways uh later on the nurse falls down the stairs and she like she's hissing and growling like a cat uh so yeah that was pretty silly and sam elliott we get to see him naked it takes a hot shower and i mean really hot the water gets scalding hot and falls through the glass and then maria uh this like german chick she's like in the pool swimming she goes down and then when she comes back to the surface suddenly there's like this invisible like shield like keeping her down it doesn't look like there's anything there but there's i guess there's, there's just like this force field that she can't break through like some glass and so she drowns and i just thought that was a terrifying situation and so then you know margaret is forced to wear this ring this like power ring uh and then we find out that all these people have these rings and that they're all sent here to be sacrificed to the devil so that this ill man on the bed can transfer the power of satan to catherine ross but he has to kill like six people and we find out that these six people have been doing like shitty things and, you know, breaking the law. But this guy who's now killing them has been like keeping them out of jail and out of harm's way just to kill them later on. Because uh, we see all these news articles that say like this person stabbed this person, got away with it. And this person committed arson and got away with it. And this person did this. And, and then now they're here getting killed like... Uh, and it was implied that the man who's killing them is the one who, you know, saved their asses before because he needed them to survive long enough to make it to this place to get killed for the devil, right? That's what I got out of it. So I could be wrong. <clears throat> so uh, I love that when a car is not the, an option to leave, they just say, fuck it, and they go and steal the horses and then get to town and steal a car. And then this is when we kind of get like this in the mouth of madness moment where they just keep driving in circles. And no matter how far they drive, they keep any back at the house. And then we get this moment where this guy is choking on a chicken bone, even though he never ate a chicken. And they do like this horrible tracheotomy. And his acting was pretty good when he was like choking. Like it was pretty convincing. And then, all of a sudden, the fireplace just shoots a fireball out at this guy. And this is when uh, they do some weird effect where they want to show, like, a close-up of the actor's face with, like, a screen of fire in front of him. And it's just a bad effect. Like, I would have preferred just showing some stuntman on fire and not do those cheesy close-ups of the actor's face going through like different stages of makeup. It just looks stupid. Then Barbara gets kind of like a Bride of Chucky kill, uh, except this is much more supernatural. The mirror that she's standing in front of just explodes and multiple shards of glass come piercing her face and chest. And then we get like this arrow versus shotgun fight. Sam Elliott grabs an arrow and he's pretty accurate with it. 
Like he's shooting the guy on the roof of this mansion and he only is showing like his head and upper chest like that much of him is visible and he like gets him for a shot. So Sam Elliott is amazing with a crossbow. And then, you know, this is when we get the big reveal about the guy on the bed, how he looks like. We see that. Uh, and we find out that he's killing all these people for Satan or whatever. He's transferring the power uh, to Catherine because she's like a long lost relative. She's like related to him. Like she's the great, great granddaughter or something. And, and then Sam Elliott's character, Pete, is just cool with this. Like he's trying to stop this transfer of power, but he fails. And then he's just like, okay, whatever. I'm going to live with you, sweetheart, even though you have the power of Satan now. But at least we get to keep this awesome house. Like they get the house and his girlfriend or wife gets Satan powers, which don't include immortality, obviously, because this other dude died. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what all these powers are that she's getting. We don't get to see her use them. She just says at the end, like, I'm going to use them to do whatever I want. And then the credits roll. So, yeah, that's really the end of the movie. So, what are your thoughts on The Legacy? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you like what you've seen here, you can hit this like button and become a subscriber today just by clicking the My Cartoon Face in about five seconds. And remember, it's all an opinion. You don't need to get butthurt about it. <laughs>